She's dead, but luckily Mercedes back then was still smart to use the mechanical keys. Open. It's actually open. All right. There's the machine. She needs tons of love. She's been sitting for a long time, probably like four months now. There's a lot of things wrong with it. It's dead. Something is with the transmission, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of electrical work. Yeah. It's gonna be the next rescue. It's got good tires and brakes though. <laughs> Oh man, first, first drive in like four months or something. I gotta park this baby somewhere else now so I can work on this baby. This amazing machine that needs so much love. Ooh. Let's see. It's a lot of work it needs to be done to this car. Apparently it doesn't shift. I don't know, we'll see. Well, I actually shifted to second gear, so I'm not gonna go crazy. Gotta exercise the brakes a little too. So we're gonna scan this car, obviously. Um, as of right now, things are like somewhat working, like the fuel gauge and all that. The owner was saying that the fuel gauge wasn't working. Well, it seems like it's working. I don't know, maybe it just stuck at this position all the time. I'll have to ask him. But yeah, she's still doing fine. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today we're gonna to be working on this 2003 Mercedes C230 compressor. Uh, there's a bunch of work that needs to be done. Parasitic draw of the battery. There's a bunch of other stuff, it has some codes. Uh, and then I just have to do like a general inspection of this car, see what it needs and all that. So yeah, let's just, uh, you know, have fun and start working on this machine. All right, so I'm actually doing a lot of work on this car. Actually, I started working on the parasitic draw. So there's a parasitic draw of 0.25 amps, which is way excessive. Should be around 25 milliamps to 50 amps. So I got this cover off for the fuse box. There's one fuse box in the trunk and one under the hood. And I was actually already checking the fuses and everything for the draw. And I'll show you which fuses have the draw. There are actually multiple. Okay, so I have the hood opened up on this machine <laughs> and the battery. The battery was actually dead, so I had to jump start it and let it run for actually an hour or so. I'm about to jack up this side and I'll let you know wh why I'm doing it. And then I'll show you the situation with the parasitic drum. I'm gonna set everything up right here. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this car, like the way they designed these cars is just trash. Cause you know, they have this plastic drain all right, and right underneath of it is the fuse box with the cover, but you know, sometimes the water gets in there, especially if you don't keep these, you know, drains clean and all that. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna remove the door panel too, because, you know, there's a problem with this door lock that when you lock it, it's just kind of bouncy. There's there's a spring on the actuator that, that broke, so I'm gonna take the door panel off. And, you know, the door panel is also just a little bit tired and, Everything is kind of a little bit loose, but I'm going to take it off, clean everything here. The car also needs a lot of cleanup. It's pretty dirty, so I'm going to work on that as well. Get it all nice. Since I have it jacked up on this side, I'm checking the wheel, right? So, steering wheel is unlocked. I'll 
with me two hands, but there's play. This could be just a bearing, so I'll have to check. Could be tie rods on, you know, when shaking nine and three o'clock position, so I have to check that. All right, so looking underneath, these are actually original. So the ball joints are still okay on them, but these control arm bushings are totally shot. As you can see this one and then that one as well it's actually pretty bad so you know we're gonna see if the owner wants to take care of that but swivel links are good actually yeah i think there's just a little bit of bearing place i'm just gonna have to adjust that all right i got the wheel off uh, brakes are actually good nothing wrong with the brakes i'm gonna tighten the wheel bearing as i'm while i'm here and then check out these uh bushings the other side is a lot worse and these waiver bushings need to be changed too so definitely gonna do that now i'm gonna take this wheel liner off so this uh brake hose needs to be changed too started to crack right there really unsafe probably original people don't change these things but yeah something that we'll have to change for sure so just if you're curious, that's actually excessive amount of play on this bushing. That was actually not too bad from this side, but the bushing is still all torn. Definitely gotta change that guy. Got this guy out. There we go. Ooh, look at all this garbage here. Good idea to clean this. That's... This looks like a piece of rubber that goes somewhere. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe one of these right here somewhere. Or actually, maybe it goes right here, I think. Maybe, we'll have to see. All right, so I'm gonna take the seats out. As you can see, the car is just nasty. It hasn't received love in a long, long time. It's crazy, but it's gonna make it, uh, I'm gonna make it amazing again, nice. What's really cool is that these seats are manual, so you don't have to worry about like the parasitic draws. But if you had power seats, sometimes power seats would be drawing uh, battery um, or it would be draining the battery, actually. So that's something else to look at, but not in this car. All right, seat is out. A bunch of garbage here. And it was so easy to take out that seat, actually. Super light because there's obviously they're not power seats, but I also put this glove here to protect this uh, seat buckle so nothing goes in there and You know, it's raining a little bit, but that's okay. There's it's nothing. It's not gonna hurt anything I'm gonna take all this out and start scrubbing the seat as well in the meantime While I'm checking for parasitic draw, so I'm about to start that Your seats are coming out too. Bottoms. There's a bunch of cleanup that needs to be done down here too. It's just a bunch of garbage everywhere. So yeah, I already cleaned this side right here. Looks so much nicer. Okay, now I'm taking this seat out. This was already broken right here. So I'm gonna take this guy out, just connect a couple of connectors for the buckle airbag stuff. Like 
this. Clean the rest of this interior. There's still a bunch of work left left to do. We got this area somewhat cleaned up and nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lower this cushion down. And this one actually got it cleaned up pretty well. I gotta finish cleaning it, but uh, this side I haven't touched yet. But see how bad this is. Horrible. A lot of work here underneath too. <laughs> So much fun today. We've been trying to do a lot of things at the same time, but you know, there's a lot of things to do on the car. I mean, you have to try to manage time, but that's how we do it. see the difference how it's getting cleaned up this side really nice beautiful also there's a drain right there as you can see it's completely clogged right there so I'm gonna unclog this thing get all this junk out of there all right so got the cap off i'm gonna adjust this uh bearing uh, by putting the wheel back on and uh, if you haven't watched my videos on how to adjust the wheel bearings on these amazing machines the link is gonna be up here yep just gonna turn it a little bit and just to the point where the play is gone in the wheel now it's gone awesome so now i'm gonna take the wheel off and tighten that so the tire was rubbing right here because this panel wasn't connected or installed properly it was actually coming out so i rearranged it back now just uh, have to find a bolt for this and that yeah and uh no, it shouldn't be causing any issues because it's actually cutting a little bit into the tire on the inside, as you can see right here, oh, 